Hello, and this is Theology on Tap. The problem that I have always with the church has been that there are too many rules. They have paint a picture of what Christianity is supposed to look like, and they make sure that everybody fits into that picture. And one of the things they always demand is that we need to be humble. Now, you probably heard sermons on how to be humble. There are articles you could search and find that kind of shows you how we need to be humble. But how do you do that? How, how do you make yourself humble? Can you pray and next day you have humility? Or do most people just act it out? Just act like they're humble. In Colossians chapter 2, on verse 16 and 17, look what he says. Therefore do not let anyone judge you by what you eat or drink or with regard to a religious festival or new moon celebration or a Sabbath day. Now definitely he's talking about religious events. These are a shadow of the things that were to come, but the reality, however, is found in Jesus Christ. Verse 18, Do not let anyone who delights in false humility and the worship of angels disqualify you. And this is a big problem. When we focus on the religious aspect of Christianity, what kind of rules that we need to follow, the commandments that God has given to us in the Old Testament, if we follow that, then we have to judge one another by how good we are in obeying such commands. So if you are a good person that obeys majority of the law, somehow you're more humble or a better Christian than somebody else. See, that's false humility. In fact, I would say that if you're the kind of if you're the kind of person that is praying for humility so that we could be more like Christ, that is a very selfish thing to do. So it kind of goes against humility that we're trying to be humble so we could brag about our humility. There are a lot of people who judge others for what they do. I have been judged many times because of what I believe and how I live my life. Why? Because they have this false humility, false understanding of what a good Christian should look and act like. Because these kind of people also goes into great detail about what they have seen and they are puffed up with idle notions by an unspiritual mind. They might know a lot about the Bible. You've seen these people who just take out the Bible and they read a bunch of verses and try to preach to you and over and over. They know a lot. They memorize a lot of things. I give them that. That's wonderful. But when they do that, they don't do it in humility, they do it out of judgment. And yet they're the ones who look like they're, they're humble. That's not the case. The reason why they do that is important. Verse 19, they have lost connection with the head from whom the whole body supported and held together by its ligaments and whatnot. They have lost connection with the head. And that is Jesus Christ. That is Jesus Christ. Now how do I know that? Because if in the beginning of Colossians chapter 2, Starting on verse 6, look what he says. Just as you receive Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your life in Him. Continue to live your life in Him. Because a lot of people don't. They start their relationship with Jesus and then they go back to the law. But no, we need to be rooted and built up in Jesus and nothing else. So then question then becomes is, how do you stay humble? It's not something you could gain. It is not something that you could show other people because of what you have practiced or what you have memorized and whatnot. Humility only comes through the experiences that we had in our lives. So Jesus was humble. Why? Because he was with God. He had no problems. But he decided to humble himself, came to earth in a form of a man to go through the sufferings, to go through the pains and the hungers of life, in order for him to die a physical death on the cross for our sins. See, that is humility. It also says, the Bible also says that Moses was the most humble man that has ever lived. And Moses was humble while he was working for God, not because of the fact that he was born that way. It wasn't because he studied to be humble. But he has gone through a lot of humiliating circumstances in his life. And that is the only way that you can learn to be humble. It's through life. Now, if you're the kind of a person who have lived a good life, you have a good family, you eat well, you have a good job, your children doesn't cause any problems. Now, if you have lived that kind of life, God bless you. And I think that's wonderful and it's great. And you don't even have to worry about 
you know, asking God to make you humble. Not at all. In fact, just as Bible says, you know, rejoice in the Lord always. And the word rejoice actually means to brag. So if you want to brag about the fact that God has blessed you, live that life. However, Bible also says rejoice in your sufferings. Because only through sufferings in life do you learn to be humble. Now, sufferings in life could make you angry as well. But if you have God, if you have fellowship with God, then you could learn to be you you can be humble through the humiliating circumstances you have gone through in your life. Now, there is a man that is a good example of him, and he gave his testimony. And you could, I'll put the link of his t testimony in the description below. Please watch his testimony and listen to his story. When you go through life the way he has gone through, then you could see why he is such a humble man. So do not, please, go through life trying to be humble. Have fellowship with Christ. Live through the Spirit of God. Don't let anyone judge you. And please, as you live your life built up in Jesus, do not delight in false humility. Don't even worry about it. The kind of a life that God wants you to live, the way He wants you to be, is between you and Him. God's Spirit is in, within you. You have fellowship with God. And He will lead you in that path of righteousness. Just live your life with Him. And all things will work out for good. God bless you. Thanks for joining in today. Keep coming back for more videos. Subscribe and tell your friends please. God bless.